Hey everyone, I'm Sam from BioCosplay. This is part 5 of the Super Boo Vlog. I'm starting on the Boo hands and forearms. Since he has really big hands, I'm gonna go with these cheap work gloves found at the store. These were like $2 or something. They're pretty chunky compared to my hand. And then I'm carving foam to add on top of this. So you can see this one's already a little bit carved. Here's what it looked like when I cut it out of two inch foam. And then I hollowed out the back as well so that the glove will fit in there. And then I'll do a palm as well. So that'll give me a lot of material to work with. And then for the thumb, it's just this shape. It goes in there, then it'll fit on there. And that's also hollowed out. For the forearms, he doesn't have a lot of shape to his forearms really. It's just kind of round. So I did some tests with pinning stuff to the mannequin and found that just a rectangle of foam to wrap around will probably be the best way to go. And then tapering at the top and probably the bottom too, just so it uh, floats back down into my arm a little better and under the gauntlets he has. But I'm going to put a little notch here where the inside of my elbow goes. That way I can stick this a little higher up and still have room to move my elbow. So then I can get like some mass on the sides of the elbows up in here so i've glued the front of these forearms on and then for the back i've cut a tapered edge here and i think i'm going to glue this down and then try to taper this edge and glue it down over that and that's mostly because i didn't think i'd be able to line up these two edges super great and have it be a clean seam so we'll see how the overlapping goes the forearms are glued on now I'm gonna go back and trim this ridge where the pieces overlapped just to make that a little more flat. You can see it's got kind of like a doop, doop. So I just wanna make that a little more consistent. So I'm gonna use one of these Persona blades on the popsicle stick again. That's looking a little better now. So for the second hand, I'm just rounding it over and hollowing out the back until it'll match this one. I'm not trying to make it look super pretty or anything currently i'm just kind of like knocking off the edges uh, so i know how much room i have to work with because i don't want a big flat spot on the back of the hand i want it to have a shape to it so i want to make sure i've carved enough that i know you know roughly how much room i have before i start carving out a ton in the back of course these are big old hands out of two inch foam but especially with thinner foam you have to be careful that you don't carve through on one side or the other and once i get to the fingers i'll probably switch to persona blade with the popsicle stick it's a little smaller and it can get in there better i'm not super happy with how these forearms are looking uh, they look a little bit like pool floaties so i'm just gonna heat them up with the hair dryer and take them off and redo the pattern and try to make it look a little bit more pleasing here's another forearm i've got pinned on there to test out i think that's looking a bit better than that probably gonna go on this route Here's what I think we're gonna go with for the forearms. I elongated it at the top a bit and rounded it over. And here's the back of it. You can see I've tapered all the edges so it should flow nicely out of the elbow and then bulk up a little bit around the forearm. Should give a decent amount of bulk and give the start of the big forearms Boo has. And then I can start patterning the gauntlet off of this and make it look even more exaggerated and then give him those big old hands. I am patterning out Boo's massive forearm gauntlet armor thing. Here's a hand for scale. And I've just done this out of aluminum foil and duct tape. But I think before I finalize this pattern and cover this whole thing in duct tape, I need to refine the shape of the hand a bit. Mainly because it's going to get sanded down and shaped a bit more. So I don't want to make the gauntlet too big, even though it's supposed to be pretty big. And silly looking. Um, I don't want the head to look tiny in there so I want to get some shape on this. That way it'll be easier to adjust this while it's just mostly foil than it would if it was covered all the way in duct tape. To shape the hands I'm going to be using a rotary tool and a coarse low grit sanding drum and I'm just going to do my best to shape this and make it look like a hand. I'm going to do the left one first because since I'm right-handed I can wear it and make a fist and stuff, and then I can shape it while it's on my hand, hopefully get it a little more hand-shaped, and then I can copy what it looks like for the right one. This is gonna kick up a whole bunch of dust though, so I'm gonna make sure to wear a respirator, or you can wear a dust mask, and a face shield. Okay, I've got the left hand in a decent place. So now I'm going to compare it to the right hand and I've already marked out the spots where things need to go kind of looks like a mess but I know what it means so it's fine and then I'm just gonna try to make this one match
Okay, now that I've got both hands looking pretty similar, I'm going to work on the palms. So I've got some tape on here and a bunch of lines. I'm just trying to look at the palm of my hand and try to make it look like that. So I'm doing like three main sections. This top one here, got a line that comes here. So there's, there's our second one. And then from here up to the thumb, basically. So if we look past all the squiggles, this one and this one, probably even bring this one down a bit like this. Then I'm just going to peel off this masking tape and plop it down onto some paper. Then we'll do the same thing for the fingers. So we got the fingies taped up and we're just going to draw the sections of a finger. All right, now we've got the fingy sketched on. I've labeled each section so I know where they go. I'll put these on the paper as well. Okay, there's our palm pattern. Seems to be fitting okay. I'm probably gonna leave a little extra foam at the bottom here to cover up this. And it should work for the other hand as well. Probably cut these slightly big and then kind of tailor them to each hand. Okay, I've got my piece cut up into the three sections. Now I'm going to cut all the edges at an angle so that when I glue it down, the edges will, will dip in. And it'll look like a little palm, hopefully, maybe. Got the palms glued on. Now we'll do the same thing with the fingers. I'm attempting to fill out the sides of the arms here, mainly because Boo has three holes that go on the side of his arms. I'm also trying to give him a little bit of an elbow, mostly to fill in this space so it doesn't look like a like a Mega Man cannon coming off his arm. And I think it's looking fine. It's not super elbowy, but I don't think he has super defined elbows anyway, so I think it'll be all right. So for those pieces on the sides of the arms, the back of them have been carved a bit just to give them the shape I want them to have. It's more sloped at the top and not quite as much here. The table's a mess, it's fine. For the elbows, I've got this shape. This comes up into the back of the arm, this comes into the forearm, and I just glued a little extra triangle back here just to kind of bump it up a smidge on the elbow, give it a little bit more shape. All right, so the elbows are on there. I think they're gonna be kind of subtle. They're not gonna do a ton other than help blend this down into the forearm and make the forearm not look quite as Mega Man blastery. From the side, you can see it's got a little bit of a, a whoop. And it'll look different with my elbow under there poking out a little bit more. And then, so I think the arm's looking a little more full throughout now. And now I can move on to the gauntlets. Got the boo gauntlet adjusted now that the hands are roughly the shape they'll be in the end. I'm hoping to just cut a seam up the bottom of it and then I can just do it all in one big piece and just hide the seam on the bottom. I've got my pattern transferred to paper, so now I'm going to cut it out of some 10 millimeter EVA foam. I'll be using foam from TNT Cosplay Supply. I'll have an affiliate link down in the description if you are planning on purchasing any foam and if you use it that would help support me. Now I'm going to make sure my blade is sharp. All these edges, I'm just going to try to make sure my blade is, is square and my edges are going to be as close to 90 degrees as I can get them. Now before I get these edges glued, I'm going to heat form it so it's a little easier to curl around and I'm going to try to put a little bit of shape into the top here and round this over. Okay, now I'm going to put some barge on these edges and glue it together. My first coat of barge is dry, so I'm going to go ahead and apply a second coat. My second coat is dry, now we're going to stick it together. There we go, gauntlet. I didn't love how the gauntlet turned out, so I covered the foam in some foil and more tape and got a more pleasing shape. Um, and I do think there's going to need to be a seam on the top just so I can get this nice curve along the top. So I'm going to cut this off of here and see if I need to put a seam on the bottom as well or on the side somewhere. Whatever I have to do to make this lay flat and then I'll assemble another one. Here's the new gauntlet for Boo. I did it in five parts. So up here this is one, two, three, four, and then this is all one piece down here that wraps around. I think it's got better shape. And now I want to add a border around the edge like this. So this is a HD foam half a dowel from SKS Props. Uh, you can get these on Blick. So I'm just going to line these up on the 
the bottom and then go around and glued along the edge and then I'll probably round out the inside a little bit so it doesn't get caught on the suit with this harsh edge. Before I do that I'm going to go ahead and wipe off all my registration marks and markings with some alcohol and a paper towel. This is just so it doesn't interfere with the paint later and so I get all the bits that are going to be covered up by the foam dowel as well. So I'm just going around the edge of this and trying to line up the edge of the dowel with the edge of the gauntlet. Now that I'm at the point where it overlaps, I need to cut this so that I can glue it together with some super glue at the end. But I don't want to cut it too short and have a gap, so I'm just going to slowly cut away at it until it's at the right length. So that one actually looks alright. So now I'm going to put some super glue in there and then spray in some kicker and hold it until it is dry. Now I'm going to use this tapered stone bit to knock down this inner edge. I put the holes in Boo's head by using this, this Foamworks hole drill. I guess the medium sized punch and I'm planning on using this bigger one for the holes in the suit. But now I need to put a backing on the holes so the hole doesn't go completely through. So I'm just going to use a little square of 4 millimeter foam and some barge and then I'll, I'll just glue it inside there and then it'll look like that. And then once I paint it black it'll stick out. Put a little bit of barge around the edge of these holes. Cut out some little squares and put some barge on these as well. And then I'll stick those in there. For the holes on the back of the suit I punched out some EVA foam with this larger punch and then I pinned them to the suit roughly where I think they should go so I'm gonna mark those with a sharpie and then punch out the upholstery foam. I'm just gonna take this tool and twist it in a circle until I hit the fabric on the suit and then I'll finish cutting these out with a razor blade. To remove these holes the rest of the way I've taken the suit off the mannequin so that from the inside of the suit it can push up where the hole is and then I can slice off this nub Then it'll leave a little indent. I'm just going to repeat that for the rest of these holes around the suit. He's got them on the back and the arms and a couple on the chest. For the shoes, I'm going to try to make a shoe cover over a comfier shoe. So I've got it covered in foil and masking tape like all the other patterns. And I'm going to transfer this to paper and try to assemble it in EVA foam. I'm going to make these out of 4 millimeter foam. I think that'll keep them pretty flexible on the foot. I've got the toe assembled. I think the shape is pretty good, but it's pretty loose back here where it ends on the shoe. So I think I need to suck that in a little bit. And to do that, I'm just going to mark a line like this. And then I'll cut along the seam. And that should suck it in a bit. And then it'll be more snug back here and not look so floopy, hopefully. And I'll do that on both sides. I'm just kind of guesstimating how much to take off. I also trimmed the edges here at an angle, so maybe it flows into the shoe more. I don't know if that's going to work, but we'll see. I think that looks better. I don't know that the tapering it here really helped that much, but maybe once I have cloth over it, it'll push it down a little. Or maybe I need to taper it in a little more. I made a toe out of 2 millimeter foam, and this one actually looks a lot better, I think. It flows into the shoe better, which makes sense because it's a thinner foam. There it is for comparison. I also cut the bottom piece, the edge at um, 45 degrees, so, uh, and I cut these out at roughly two millimeters smaller. I'm going to go around and trace the edge of this, try to make it roughly two millimeters, and then I'll trim this off for the pattern going forward, and so I can assemble the other one and have it be somewhat consistent. So now that's trimmed, I'm going to go ahead and trace both sides onto some two millimeter foam. And now when I cut these out around the edge of the bottom piece, I'm going to cut in at an angle. And I'm kind of just 
Like I have the knife at an angle already and then I'm pushing down to bend the blade. And these notches that help give it the round shape on the sole, I'm just cutting those normally. For the top piece, all the edges except for the one that's going towards the shoe, all those are going to be cut at 90 degrees. The one towards the shoe I'm also going to put an angle on, that way it flows into the shoe a little better. Now I'm going to put two layers of barge on all the edges then stick it together. Glue's dry. Now I've just got to stick it together. I've kind of messed up my registration marks. And there we go. A second toe. We're patterning the shoe cover by wrapping my foot in plastic wrap. Now we're going to wrap it in masking tape. The lighting's bad because I'm sitting on the couch eating cheeses. Alright, we've got the seams drawn on. Now, just gotta cut it off. Then it can be transferred to some spandex and we can make a shoe cover. I think it's looking like a boo foot though. If you enjoyed this video, consider liking and subscribing or leave a comment down below. Uh, I'll have links to everything in the description. And I'll see you next time.